Okay, hey there. This uh, this uh, tutorial is going to be on how the kinematic equations are derived, and not everybody would need this, but sometimes a professor, when you get to college, will actually ask you to derive these or something possibly. So, anyway, the first kinematic equation we know is V equals VO plus AT. Uh, it's really the simplest one in terms of where it came from. All this is is your acceleration equation. Acceleration is equal to a change in velocity over a change in time, where a lot of times we say velocity final minus velocity initial over time final minus time initial, which kind of gets rewritten as velocity minus velocity initial over Time. So now just uh, that would be AT equals V minus VO and just do a little switcheroo and you've got your V equals VO plus AT. So that's what we usually call the first of the kinematic equations. Uh, let's just see what we can do deriving some more. The uh, other kinematic equations other thing we're going to need to do for deriving the kinematic equations, we're going to need to take one little thing into account, and that's that, uh, let's see, uh, velocity average is equal to, we know it's equal to like a displacement over time, but one other thing we have to take into account is velocity average can also be your two velocities, your final and your initial velocity, add them up, divide by two. So we can say velocity plus VO over 2 is equal to X over T. And that's really what we're going to use in deriving these other two kinematic equations. It's just taking these, this formula and plugging it back into here. So if we want to try and derive the second kinematic equation, so in other words, if we want to derive... Uh, y, or excuse me, x equals VOT plus one-half AT squared. If we want to derive this equation, all we're going to do is solve this equation for V and substitute it back into the first kinematic equation. So let's see what we can do here. V plus VO over 2 equals XT. So solve this equation now for V, and we would have uh, V would be equal to 2X over T plus, excuse me, minus VO. Now substitute that back into the first, and we have 2X over T minus VO equals VO plus AT. All right. Start doing a little bit more here, and we've got 2X over T equals uh, negative VO here, positive VO here, so bring that over. That would be equal to 2VO plus AT. All right. Do do do. Need another sheet of paper, obviously. So now, if we keep going along those lines, uh, let's see. This would be two x equals two v o t plus a t square. If we multiply both sides by t to cancel it. Now, if you would like to get it down to just x, divide everything by 2, and that gives you x equals VOT plus 1 half AT squared. And there's your second kinematic equation derived out. The third kinematic equation is the V squared equals VO squared plus 2AX equation. 
Uh, this equation comes in handy, especially if you know this now, we have an equation where we don't need time in order to work the problem. So once again, we'll go back to here. We'll start with this. This average equals an average of x over t equation. And we'll plug it back into the very first kinematic equation. So let's plug this one back into the first kinematic equation again. But this time, let's solve this equation for time and substitute it back into up here. Or we could solve this one for time and plug it into here. Either way, I'm going to solve this equation for time, plug it back into the first. So let's take a look. The third kinematic equation. We're going to take V plus VO over 2 equals X over T. We're going to solve it for time. And then we are going to substitute it back into here. So this ends up T is equal to 2X over V plus VO. When we do the algebra on that. So if we take this now, plug it back into the other equation, we have V equals plan period. So we plug this back into here, we've got V equals VO plus A times 2X over V plus VO. All right. Now, if we do a little work on this equation, finish the algebra, this would become V times V plus VO equals VO times V plus VO plus 2AX. Well, this becomes V squared plus VVO equals VVO plus VO squared plus 2AX. VVO, VVO cancels. You're left with V squared equals VO squared plus 2AX. Now, I have no idea why the bulk of this film I've made crooked. But anyway, that's your third kinematic equation. So again, the root of all the kinematic equations is pretty much just segment average velocity is equal to your two velocities divided by two, and setting that equal to average velocity is displacement over time. So all it is is these two set in equal to each other, plug back into V equals VO plus AT. So other than that, it's just an algebra question. So anyway, that's your derivation of uh, kinematic equations.